Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam, and today we are going to go ahead and look at how can we identify sentiment analysis using machine learning. Now, when I talk about machine learning, I'm not going to go ahead and use AI fabric feature in UI path. I'm going to create a simple sentiment analysis Python script. You heard me right. And we are going to use it in our UI path studio to identify sentiment out of any sentence. Now, when I talk about Python, you guys must be worried. Oh, now we have to go ahead and code, right? But you don't have to. You will have to write only four to five lines of code and that's it. Now you must be saying this is joking, right? But I'm not joking. So let's go ahead and let's build our Python script for identifying sentiment analysis out of any sentence. And then we will go ahead and use it in our UiPath Studio. So first of all, I will navigate to my Google Collaboratory. So this is my Google Collab. Uh, I have created one of the new files. So I'll just uh, rename this file. Now you might ask what is Collab? So Collab is nothing but it's a Google's, uh, you know, feature which uh, which you can leverage in order where you can get a, uh, you know, allocated uh, designated CPU where you can write your Python codes or any type of coding language and you can uh, run the scripts. You can write your Python notebook entirely here. So I uh, I love Google Collaborate a lot. So I prefer to be use Google Collab for testing my, all of my Python scripts. So this is going to be a sentiment analysis. So I'm just going to rename it as sentiment analysis. Uh, so this is a notebook as you can see. Python notebook file. Uh, now we, first of all, I have to go ahead and connect. So I will say connect. Now it is allocating some of the space, connecting to Python 3 Google Computer Engine backend, initializing as you can see, and it is connected. Now, if you hover on it, you can see uh, we have allocated 12 GB of RAM and 107 GB of disk space, out of which I have used a couple of, you know, 1 GB of RAM. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to code this in very less number of lines. Now, even if you don't have Google Collaborate, that's okay. Anyhow, we are going to go ahead and write our code in Python script. So let's not worry about that. So first of all, what we will do is sentiment analysis. So we need, the first thing is to install text blob. So what I'll do is pip install text blob. Okay, so this is a, this is a package which we need uh, in uh, you know Python. Uh, so text blob is something which is really wonderful, which identifies any sentiments or, uh, you know, text uh, from any sentence. So you can just search, go ahead and Python text blob. So once you enter Python text blob, you can see, uh, you can have a look at this uh, one of the website. Where is, where is it gone? Yeah, this one. So Python text blob is nothing but a, uh, you know, a simplified text processing, which contains natural language processing. Where you can go ahead, you can do tagging, uh, non-phrase extraction, sentiment analysis, classification, translation, and many more things. Out of which I'm just going to go ahead and do the sentiment analysis right here. So what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to install first of all text blob. So it says requirement already satisfied. I have told you already the Google Collab already has a lot of features and a lot of Python, uh, you know, search packages pre-installed. Now we will create one more cooking field here where we will go ahead and we'll say, so from text blob, we need to import text blob, okay? Now once we import this, so this is also done, we need another cooking site here where we are going to, let's say, uh, I say, let's say, uh, this is a feedback, okay? From, uh, for a movie. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to write it right, uh, I hated the popcorn, you know? So, while watching movie, uh, I, I had some popcorn over there from that particular theater. So I hated the popcorn. I did not like that. So I'm just going to say blob one where uh, the text blob, okay, I have it here, is feedback. So this is a feedback. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and print the blob one. Sorry for my typos. Dot sentiment, and that's it. I'm just going to say run. And as you can see, as I mentioned, I hated the popcorn. The polarity indicates your sentiment, whether it is positive or negative. Now, as you can see, it is minus nine, minus zero point nine. That means it is very negative. And subjectivity is nothing but the relativeness to the particular subjective matter of this particular string which you give. And yeah, that's it. 
So this is your code. I mean, simply one line for installation of text block, which was already installed. Another line from for importing the text block from that particular library. And rest of the three lines is just to run. I mean, the one line is even the text which I'm entering, which is hard coded, but in our Python script, we are just going to take it from user. So that makes it overall only three lines of code for writing a sentiment analysis machine learning code. Isn't this wonderful? And once you do this, now we will look at how can we get this one in local machine Python script as a local machine Python script dot py. I don't want it as a Python, a Python notebook. I want it as a Python script and I, I want to use it in UI path. How do I do that? So this is what we are going to go ahead and look at. Now let's check a positive sentiment. I love the movie. Location was nice. Okay, so I love the movie and the location was nice and the polarity as you can see is 0 0.64, which is uh, fairly positive. So it's about 0.5. That means it's really positive. And the subjectivity is 0.9. This is which is really good. Now, as you can see, it's returning every time uh, array of string. I mean, array of certain object where prior polarity has been mentioned in 0 0.644, which is which is a float value. Now we will have to go ahead and build a simple Python script around this. So we will simply go to notepad and in notepad, we're just going to type in the code, which we want. Uh, now, while we are writing a code, what we are going to do is we need, we are going to make sure that we create this as a Python script. Okay. So what's our code is going to be is nothing. So it is as simple as I just said, def, uh, let's say predict sentiment. This is, I'm going to get one feedback and that's it. So I'll enter a tab. Uh, now, once you do that, you'll take from text blob, we need uh, to import. So this is the same thing as the code which we have written, import text blob, right? And we have another tab and then we will go ahead and just say blob one equals uh, text blob, you know, and which is which is nothing but feedback so we'll get that as an input and then we will just return oh sorry return blob one dot sentiment and that's it so yeah and this is how simple code it is now if this is a python script right what i just need to do is control s save it now where do i want to go ahead and save it so i will select my uh, particular folder now let me go back to my folder once again. Okay, now I'm in my project folder location. I'll just say all files, and this is nothing but going to be my sentiment, and then this is .py. That's it, saved and closed. Let's go to UI path. Now this is the workflow which I created. I did not type in anything yet, so we will look into that, but let's navigate to folder location. And there's your sentiment analysis Python script. Now let's say open it with idle, and you can see your script. So it's opening with idle right now. Yeah, this is it. And that's your script. So it says, oh, it says capital written. So we just need small written, yeah. So written uh, blob one dot sentiment and that's all about it we need. So let's just save this one. And uh, let's go ahead and let's test it. So for testing the Python script execution in UiPath, what we are going to do is we are just simply going to go ahead and we are going to take in Python uh, scope, but we don't have Python scope is because we don't have installed the package. We have not installed the package. So let's go to official. Let's say Python and we have the Python package. Let's install this Python package. Let's save it. Once you save the Python package and uh, it is installed in your particular UiPath folder, I mean, sorry, UiPath studio. And uh, so sorry for my internet speed is because, okay. So this Python and we have python scope so we'll just get that now we need input so we'll just say input and uh, dialogue so we will take the sentiment from users so this is going to be the uh, sentence uh, and we're just going to say enter input to identify sentiment and which is which is we are going to go ahead and catch it in input from user. so that's it uh, this input from user has to be a string. So this is a string. That's good. Now in Python scope, we need the first thing is a Python path. Now, what is this path? Uh, so this path is nothing but whenever you navigate to your, uh, this PC, you need to navigate the C drive and your program data, sorry, 
your users, your user which you're using, your app data in your local, in the programs. Where's the program, 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 programs. Yep, there is a Python and there's your Python 3.6. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this one, come back here and put the path here in double quotation, okay? And the version of the Python is Python 36 because we are using Python 3.6, so that's it. And now we will go ahead and load the Python code. So we'll just say Python and we'll say load our Python script. Okay, and then the Python scope is going to be 64, okay, which we selected. Now the Python script is right here in our folder, which is nothing but this one. So we'll just say sentiment analysis.py. We'll copy the full part of the file and we'll give it in the file. So in the, which is in the auto double creation and the output of load Python script is Python script. That's it. Now, once you load the Python script, you need to invoke the method. So we'll say invoke method, or you can say, yeah, invoke Python method, which is this one. Now invoke Python method needs uh, three inputs. So for the first one is the Python script, which we just loaded. So this is going to be Python script. Now name of the method. Now, if you remember, the name of the method is uh, predict sentiment, okay? and input parameter. Now input parameter is we are taking from user, which is input user. So let's give this one as in a, in a curly braces as input user. And the result is going to be, this is a Python method. So we'll rename it as Python method and then we will load. So once we load the Python script, uh, we have uh, you know invoked the Python method also. Now we need to get the Python object, I mean the output one. So to get the output, we will just give it as Python method. We are taking from Python method. Object is nothing but array of objects is because there were two values, if you remember, in the output. And the variable output is going to be uh, output. So we can call it as py output, right? It's Python output, so just save it. If we check the py output is going to be array of objects, which is good. Now we will need our message box. And uh, the message box will be right here which you can write it inside Python scope or outside Python scope doesn't impact. So this is a py output. Zeroth is because it's a array of object, right? So py output zero, and we are just going to append it with the string. So this is where we call it as, so sentiment polarity is py output zero dot to string is because it's object and just where we just go ahead and save it. Now let's run this one. So uh, we have simply, uh, you know, used uh, four lines of Python script to identify the sentiment out of a text. Now let's see how it works. I have executed the code. It's asking for input. Now input is, uh, I love the movie it was. So let's say I'm just repeating the sentences. So I just, I'll change, change it to, I hated the staircase of all. So it was not automatic, you know? I hated the status of more, it was not automatic. Let's identify the sentiment of this particular sentence, which I just gave as input to this particular Python script. So our workflow will check it and the sentiment polarity is minus nine, which is a negative sentiment, which is perfectly correct. And let's run it again and let's check this time the positive sentence. So, uh, the interior, or you can say the ambience of mall is awesome. I loved, how, or I can say I liked how they designed the uh, interior, okay? So, so first sentence was negative. I hated the circus is, is because it was not positive. I mean, it was not automatic. And now the sentence which we entered was completely positive. So as you can see, the polarity is not negative. It is zero pointed, which is a very positive scenario. So based on, uh, you know, this one, we have just created a sentiment analysis Python script, which is executing only in how many lines? Four lines. And that too, you can use that in your UI path studio without using any of the machine learning model or anything, just Python integration and that's it. 
so i hope you like this video and uh, in our next video we will do even more research in machine learning based on python and how can we integrate that in ui path and leverage in our automation thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video and happy automation